after my college career, I remember I flew out to LA and um, met with Dave Taylor, and you know he was, you know, he's a legendary, you know, hockey player too. With, he had so much success with the Kings, so I remember watching him too. And that was kind of my big, you know, one of my big moments was that talking to him and then Rob Blake coming in, and and then you just kind of realize, you know, it's in this world now, you know, you're, it's going to start kind of intersecting where guys you've watched and kind of idolized are going to start coming, you know into the locker room and onto the ice with you. So you, you kind of learn to deal with that and then it just kind of becomes second nature. So, you know, the day I was traded over to Colorado from uh, LA, you know, that night I went for dinner with Rob Blake and Ray Bork. That's kind of like, whoa, how did I, you know, end up at this table? But it was, uh, it was a, you know, great dinner. And I don't think I really said too much, just kind of sat there and listened. and. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's neat just how, kind of how it all, uh, you know, just how everything kind of comes together. The Avs, who were one of the favorites to win, win the Stanley Cup that year with Forsberg and Sackick and, and Bork and Patrick Waugh, so I did have a good coaching staff who, who worked with me. I'd go over my shifts after every game. My first, my first three years, I spent a lot of time in the video room, but also you would watch these guys who were so just so talented and, and worked so hard you'd watch them every day and practice in practice and in games and so you could develop through the video way through the coaching staff and then watching uh, these guys who are already at an elite level and that was uh, I think that was a great uh, positive thing for my career. Obviously, we did have a lot of skill, but we, we worked as a, as a unit on the ice, too. I thought we were well coached with Bob Hartley, and we made adjustments when they need to be made, but also uh, our depth was phenomenal. I mean, we lost Peter Forsberg after, you know, I think uh, the second round because he, you know, he had to have his spleen out, and not a lot of teams can kind of absorb that loss and then win the conference final and then, and then the Stanley Cup, so we had tremendous depth and great leadership. And, you know, starting with Joe Sackick and Ray Bork. And I always remember, you know, the veterans in the room saying, you know, guys, we got something special in here. There's not, you know, whether you put, this is your first year or your, your 20th year, you don't always get a chance like this to win the Stanley Cup. And, you know, at the time it was my first year and, you know, kind of green and, and kind of thinking like, okay, yeah, maybe not. But, you know, I, you like to think that you're going to have a chance at it every year. But, you know, there's just so much turnover, so many good players, so many good teams that, the reality is you don't, and um, it was something that you learn later in life. You look back and say, you know what, they were right. Like we had a, we had a great team, and, and luckily we we did you know win it that year because uh, you never know how many kicks of the can you're going to get. So you really want to grab the opportunity, and we uh, you know we did, and and you know obviously I'm very happy about that. Calgary was great. It was close to home. Had relatives in Calgary also. My brother lived there. Um, and it's always neat playing in a Canadian city. Um, just with, you know, it's a different kind of uh, popularity maybe or just focus. And so it was, it was fun. It was fun in that respect. And also, I mean, we went to the Stanley Cup Finals and lost in Game 7 when I was there also. And so it was neat to kind of see the city just explode when we were making the run. And, it was, uh, it, was, it was a great experience there, and you know, I really, really enjoyed my time in Calgary. I grew up in Edmonton, so I had season tickets in the 80s, and got to watch you know, Gretzky and Messe and McTavish, you know, running around with you know, no helmet, but uh, I got to watch those guys play you know, a ton because you know, we wouldn't miss too many games. And, and then to get traded to Phoenix in the middle of the season and have Gretz as your coach and you know Grant Fuhrer as your goalie coach was uh, was was something else. And you know just to shake his hand in the locker room and then see him behind the bench was uh, was pretty pretty extraordinary. But uh, you know at the end of the day you just kind of try to block that out and you know play hockey and and listen to him as a coach and stuff. And, and you know he was he was a good coach. You know unfortunately it didn't work out. We didn't make the playoffs there, but I thought we had some good teams and. Um, but he, you know he cared about uh, he cared about winning. Florida was you know it was, it was a tough uh, 
tough couple of years, but you know we got there, and the first few months of the season went went great. You know everything was uh, you know our team was kind of doing well. I you know I was playing well, and then I think we got a, a bunch of injuries. Stillman went down, or Nathan Horton went down, and so a lot of our offensive guys got hurt, and then you know then we struggled to score and. And that was kind of the second half of the season. That was kind of the, you know when you know management started making a ch you know decisions to make a change. And then coming the next year, you know they were starting to, you know they wanted to go a bit of a youth movement. And you know I've been around long enough that I you know know how that goes. So kind of the odd man out. And the rest was kind of history. You know I had a bad couple months at the start of my first year there. And you know the next year we were rebuilding. And that's that's the way it is in professional sports. So. Um, then ended up going to Germany for the second half of last year because it was just need to play somewhere and uh, I really feel I can still play in the NHL. It's just, you know, it is what it is and uh, I'm happy to be playing hockey and that's, that's one thing. I'm happy playing a lot of hockey here and, and working on my game.